love places. Went to Philadelphia, and I was so amazed at everything that's in that city. If you haven't walked through Philadelphia and done some of the lovely things that they have for you to do in that city, you should do it. Because it takes history and it lays it out in front of you and you can actually see it moving along. You can feel it. You can feel the people when they were there and some of the things they were doing and some of the places where they crammed themselves in to, to have all of their back. By the way, they did a lot of their politics in the back room too. They all made deals. So that's nothing new. Mm -hmm. And it, it, was, it was not always civil either because they would have big fisticuff fights over things when they didn't like what, they, what was going on. And so then they would browbeat these people to move over into their section. They had a chalkboard and they would put down who was winning the votes. And literally, this would go on like all night long. And they would get one group to come along with the other group and then finally, they get the guys in the back and say, well, you know what, I'll give you a job and I'll make sure you're uh, secretary of this or secretary of that. And that's kind of how it went. And this, this docent was telling us this story and I'm thinking, whew, I'm never gonna complain about politics again. <laughs> and then you go and you see all of the other things that were there. Like that's how I really learned about how the crown was taxing us and that's why people really got upset. They finally got to the point where they were taxing us for every step you had, every window you had, every shutter that was on the window, you name it, they were taxing us for us. And that's why they threw all that tea in the harbor. Mm -hmm. 